Hi, I'm Ed Janowak from ACCA on behalf of TEC, and the topic we're going to discuss today is Manual J. Manual J, also known as load calculations, is almost my favorite topic. I like talking about duct design and airflow a little bit more, but that that topic's pretty straightforward. Uh, there's not a lot of wiggle room when you start talking about right and wrong or acceptable and not acceptable. But when we talk about Manual J, man, that stuff is all over the map. I've got one group of people that tell me the numbers that Manual J calculates are way too small. And then I have the opposite side of the room that are shouting that the numbers are way too big. And there's very few people in the middle. And I would be lying if I said I didn't enjoy that controversy uh, very much. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes, just do a very brief explanation of what manual J is or what a load calculation is. Uh, no teaching going on here today. I just want to give you a very brief overview of what it actually is. So what it actually is, is really nothing more than, as the third bullet point there shows you, it's a big math problem. We're going to determine how many BTUs are going in and out of a residential structure by looking at the gains and losses going through the ceiling and the walls and the floors and think of another building component and you got gain or loss taking place. It's going to be direct heat transfer. It's going to be with the air that's moving in and out of the structure and a bunch of other stuff that plays into the big math problem that's really what it is. Some people are will tell us that it's incredibly difficult to calculate these loads. And then there's other people will tell you it's fairly simple. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle. Uh, if you do your due diligence or you put some effort into it, it's, it's not easy, but it's not difficult. And as it says, again, the last bullet point right there, it's going to say it's up to you. Uh, you can make things harder than it actually is in um, some of the stuff that makes it too easy, I don't know if you want to follow those. I'm not a big advocate of things like square footage per ton, rules of thumb, or things like that. But you can also use those square footage per tons as, I'm going to call it a ruler, if you will. Uh, there's times we can look at what our software is telling us our square footage per ton is and compare that to similar houses, similar structures. That, that, that's a good way to use rules of thumb. The path to success with Manual J is learn the fundamentals of the book. There's no getting around that. Jumping in on a software program without understanding the entire process is not a good way to do things. I frequently hear people make mention about deficiencies in Manual J only to find out they've never physically picked up the book and even read the first chapter. So I would strongly recommend that you get a copy, maybe take a class, and learn about it prior to learning to use software. And then when it comes to actually doing your load calculations, use software. Nobody wants to do these load calculations by hand. right? That's, there's, uh, there's a point in time, it's nice to do a load calc, maybe not by hand, but doing it with a spreadsheet in lieu of a full software program. Learn the process. Understand how to do a loss and gain calculation. Then learn how to use software. And then never look back. Never stop using the software. And as you do these load calcs, as the last bullet point up there references, repetition will, be, will become your friend. Uh, doing block loads. Uh, in a short period of time is very realistic. Uh, doing room by room calculations, which is definitely more labor intensive, well, it, it has its own purpose. If we're not laying out ductwork or um, determining how many feet of baseboard we need in our, our specific room, then doing things in a block load format is the way to, to really the way to go. And I just realized I'm starting to teach and that's not what I'm trying to do. Brief overview. Stick with the program, Ed. That's me. So with that, I hope you enjoyed what you just heard, got something out of it, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Take care. Mm -hmm.